and welcome to Sheila Lives Out Loud. I'm Sheila Monyaga. Thanks for being on this channel. Please click subscribe and hit notifications and then catch up with me for every episode when we upload. Today, we continue with My Motivate, which really is about highlighting some of my favorite moments from the past decade. My hashtag design of a decade. Now, a trip to Paris is a dream for many, and mine came true this year with an exclusive invitation to the legendary house of Remy Martin. Remy Martin handpicked a select group of individuals to travel to France for a tailor-made experience of a brand rooted in wine growing, family, time and talent. We got to Paris early in the morning and checked in to the gorgeous Le Rock Hotel just in time to watch the city of Paris wake up while we enjoyed breakfast at a picture-perfect sidewalk cafe. The summer weather was glorious. Many took advantage of the warm weather and zipped around the city in electric scooters. They were practically everywhere. I tried, but I was too chicken to switch it on. <laughs> A stroll past the iconic Eiffel Tower revealed the hundreds of tourists who'd already come to not just look at the tower, but take a tour of it as well. It's something I did, and I'll share that with you in next week's episode. But back to the day's agenda. The afternoon was spent strolling along the Champs-Élysées all the way up to the Arc de Triomphe. Commissioned by Napoleon in 1806, it took 30 years to finish. Sadly, he never got to see it finished, but it remains one of the most famous landmarks in Paris and serves as a military monument that salutes those who fought in the Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars. With the day coming to an end, it was off to the Ritz Paris for pre-dinner cocktails. Ah! Paris. Oh la la! The Ritz Paris is legendary. Known for elegant glamour and luxury, its clientele include famed fashion designers such as Coco Chanel, writer Ernest Hemingway, whom the cocktail lounge bar Hemingway pays homage to. Royals, politicians, musicians, film stars and many others have been hosted and continue to be hosted at the Ritz Paris. It was here that we enjoyed the late summer sunset with great conversations over special Remy Martin cocktails. I've always enjoyed my cognac neat, but the cocktails whipped up were the perfect, refreshing way to wind up the wonderfully warm summer day. We then proceeded to Trocadero for dinner at the Giraffe. Chocadero is a popular area for tourists looking for great shots of the Eiffel Tower. The area is busy with artists who sometimes use the pavement to showcase their work and lots of vendors selling little curios of the Eiffel Tower. Dinner was served at the Giraffe, which is an incredible restaurant with a fantastic view of the Eiffel Tower. We sat outside on the patio and watched the tower light up over oysters, fish, pasta and, of course, Remy Martin. Early the following day, it was off to the train station for a train ride to Cognac, where we'd discover and understand the history of Remy Martin. Cognac region is made up of six areas marked by the growth of vineyards referred to as Cruz or Terroir. Grapes grown in this region and only this region can create what is then called Cognac. After the two-hour train ride, we took a 30-minute road trip to the house of Remy Martin in Cognac. The beautiful countryside drive revealed acres upon acres of carefully tended vineyards as far as the eye could see. The green vines and clear blue skies contrasted sharply against the patches of stark white terrain which we later found out was white limestone.
in the Grand and Petite Champagne regions, part of the six areas for the growth of grapes that create cognac, and not to be confused with the famous region of Champagne in the north of France, limestone plays a huge role in ensuring vines can access moisture easily. To tell the story of the house of Remy Martin is to tell the story of two families, the Remy Martin family and the Eriard de Brul family. Visionaries and pioneers bound together for all time in their passion for cognac. Maxime Polchi, Remy Martin and Louis Tres International Ambassador, was our guide who shared insights on the early history of Remy Martin dating back to 1724. Remy Martin cognacs are created from a blend of distilled wine from grapes grown in the Grand Champagne and Petite Champagne crews. The grapes are turned into wine and distilled between November and March. The process of fermentation and the aging of the wine produces lees. Lees are the deposits of the dead yeast from the fermentation process and at Remy Martin, the fine lees of the wine are retained to heighten the aromatic complexity. It's a process that cannot be rushed and is undertaken by the distiller. The distiller relies on his memory, his nose and years of experience in coming up with the heart of the cognac. Once distillation is complete, the process of selection of the eau de vie, water of life, with the potential of being an outstanding cognac, then begins. The cellar master blends the eau de vie and it is then left to age in oak wood barrels sourced from the limousine region. Capable of lasting decades, these barrels are also smoked to bring out even more aroma from the resultant cognac. A stop at the Remy Martin Club was an absolute highlight. When one speaks of cognac, we've established that one is referring to a spirit made from a specific grape that is exclusively grown in the cognac region of France. Distillation of the fermented wine from the grapes must be done twice in copper pot stills, and then the eau de vie the water of life must then be aged in oak barrels for no less than two years. The process is quite something, but at the club, Opulence Revealed was where we engaged in an interactive, colorful, multi-sensorial experience exploring aromas, texture and flavors of the cognac. All these different fruits, spices, nuts, cheese and confectionery helped us identify the different notes and flavours of the cognac. We also learned how best to enjoy it. To top it off, we visited one of the vineyards right at the Domaine du Grelet, the family estate of the Remy Martin cognac maker. We had an exquisite private dinner in the old distillery and thereafter the Louis XIII experience. It is what I can only describe as the most hushed tasting of the Louis XIII cognac in one of the ancient family cellars. The currency of luxury is authenticity and the Remy Martin brand stands tall with centuries worth of experience and heritage behind it and also ahead that's it for this episode thank you so much for watching do drop a comment in the comment section and remember to subscribe and click notifications next week we discover paris so i hope to see you then until then live out loud in all that you do